Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another Nerds Order Music interview. I am Metal Mayhem, and today I am with the singer from New Disorder. Well, how are you doing? Yeah, um, I'm fine. Fine, thanks. We are uh, experiencing this uh, situation uh, uh, almost for uh, one year, but uh, we are still alive and uh, still making music. So I guess it's good. So where did it all begin for you? Hey, I'm sorry, didn't get... Uh, well, where did um where did all this begin for you? Like, what got you into music, and what like formed the band? Yeah, we um, the history of our band. Uh, we are uh, we are here uh, for uh, almost twelve years. Uh, the band was formed in two thousand nine, uh, and it was a, a side project, kind of side project of uh, for a bunch of musicians uh, already involved in other projects. Then uh, we start uh, our own activity, uh, writing our, our songs and trying to, um, to mix our different, different uh, style, different influences. And uh, after some lineup changes, uh, we, we, have we have found the, the right one and the right direction for, uh, for the band. Uh, we have we had the, the biggest uh, uh, lineup change in uh, 2013, when uh, uh, all musicians, uh, all musicians ex except the singer for me, uh, were uh, were out of the band, were fired, were uh, fired. So the band got a new life, a new lineup, uh, and turning into a heavier sound, more metal, uh, because uh, our roots were. Um, our roots were uh, some kind of alternative rock. Uh, our first uh, first uh, album was uh, similar to um, uh, Muse or stuff like that. Uh, then, when uh, lineup change changes, uh, we we found a, a different path and uh, we turn ourselves into a more metal sound. Uh, so in 2013, and then we started our um, a stronger uh, live activity between two 2013 and 2019. We had uh, kind of uh, two 200 concerts all over Europe uh, as a headliner or um, supporting uh, bigger acts. We had the, the, the chance to share the stage with Disturbed. We, yes, disturbed in 2019. Oh, I love those guys. It yes. was uh, amazing. Best concert ever. Uh, we played in front of 6,000 people uh, in Kiev, in Ukraine. It uh, was um, amazing. It was on uh, June 18th, uh, 2019. So one year and a half ago. It was the biggest experience ever. That's amazing. I, I love Disturbed. They have such good stuff. Yes, me too. <laughs> me too. That was, was a, bit like a, a, dream was come, a dream come true. <laughs> That's great. And then the same year, we, we had the chance to share the stage with Arch Enemy in our festival. That's great. And, uh, and other, other bands like uh, Peter Tat Grand Spain, maybe you know. Oh my god! Like I've listened to a lot of the these. Uh, from my hypocrisy, uh, this uh, side project, Pain uh, Industry. Uh, we we had uh, a small tour in um, in the Baltic area, so we had uh, about uh, three or four concerts in uh, that area in uh, 2017. We also shared the stage with Breakdown of Sanity. Oh my goodness! Lucky yes, this metalcore gods, <laughs> and, and we have the chance to 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 travel a lot to see all all Europe, and maybe we had also the chance to to meet people that we would have would have never 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 meet if we we didn't this this kind of experience. Uh, so I guess now the thing we are missing the most is uh, live activity, as um, most musicians. Uh, pandemic was uh, something like uh, unexpected and um, horrible for uh, for whoever makes music. But 
I, I think the, can it can be an opportunity to concentrate, to focus on something you can't do, you have not the time to do when, uh, when you are on tour. For example, develop uh, social, social medias, um, writing new music, uh, making videos, releasing new stuff. Uh, that's uh, why we, we released two new singles this year. Uh, even if we already knew that uh, we could, uh, could have played their, them live, but uh, uh, we, we decided to concentrate on new, new stuff, new music. So this year we released um, a couple of singles. First one was on March, uh, at the beginning of pandemic. It uh, was the, uh, a new metal cover of uh, the biggest uh, Backstreet Boys uh, hit, everybody, Backstreet's Back. And we, uh, we have made, made uh, our, own, uh, our own style and uh, was, um, was nice to, to, to play, to, to record and uh, funny to, to make a, a video where, where um, we, uh, uh, we had the same look as the, the, the Backstreet Boys, but of course was a kind of a <laughs> ridiculous one, <laughs> uh, kind of parody. Uh, we we had uh, have, uh, shot the video during our last, last concert before pandemic, uh, almost uh, one year ago. Yes, one year ago, it was on February 2020. Uh, and then we, we released in uh, October uh, another single called The Deception 2. Uh, it was, uh, now it, this is uh, our um, most successful one because uh, maybe, maybe because people uh, stay, stay home and uh, have, have more time to spend in front of uh, 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 YouTube, uh, Spotify, so our, our numbers are increasing day after day, and uh, this is good. But of course, uh, I still believe that uh, best promotion for a, a band is uh, play live, playing live. I get that. Honestly, it helps you really show you're trying your hardest when you do live concerts. I, I completely get that entirely. That's a big reason why I used yeah. to go to a lot of festivals myself. I miss those <laughs> days so much. Warped uh, tour, disrupt, etc. You, you can think, uh, one, we, we are musicians, but we are also uh, um, music lovers. So when we are home, we have uh, a free weekend, we, have, we are not on tour, we usually go to concerts. So um, we really... Uh, I've, I've lost all uh, all uh, all uh, um, the things that uh, really counts that really are uh, important for us. Music uh, in this moment uh, is something different uh, uh, of what we, we we knew before pandemic. Uh, I use I usually uh, uh, I, I love to live music uh, to to be. On, uh, uh, to, to go at the concert, uh, to talk with bands, and uh, to see uh, friends uh, playing live, uh, and uh, this this is uh, the most missing thing in this moment. Hope th this will be over soon. I hope so too, because honestly, I miss those days. Like when you go to a concert and you go to music festivals, you feel like you can be yourself. You feel free. That's a big reason why I love the form of metal. It's like, it's all self-expression. And I, I just love that. Uh, you I, I think, uh, um, maybe, maybe I, uh, sorry. Uh, I, I think uh, uh, we, um, we, we are, we are optimists. This is, this is the, the, the this is, Something we we are uh, we are proud to be because we we have uh, or we already have our uh, about twenty shows booked for this autumn, so we absolutely want to be optimist, uh, optimistic, and uh, 
we we trust that uh, this this uh, situation will be over soon. Uh, if uh, everything will go, uh, we go as we hope. Uh, we will be uh, all over Europe again after one year and a half, and will be maybe um, a way to free ourselves from this uh, this nightmare because this is a nightmare for for every musician. Uh, so we'll, we have uh, 20 shows in 20, in 20 days uh, already booked for September to, uh, 2021. Hope this will be uh, possible. Mm, I, ho I hope so too, to be honest, because like coming from someone like, like who's been to festivals all the time, who's going to concerts, like I miss that life so much. Yes. It's... Yeah, and, uh, uh, this is a uh, th this is really what we we miss we all miss uh, i have uh, i mean many uh, facebook groups uh, with musicians or uh, music lovers and uh, everyone uh, uh, day after day uh, posts something like uh, uh, old pictures of concerts uh, with uh, with bandmates or with uh, with other people and uh, I, I always uh, have a look at uh, old pictures with, uh, about me at the concert, at, con at concerts. The last time, um, uh, a, few, uh, a couple of days ago, I, I found some, some pictures of uh, me at a concert, uh, at Megadeth concert with Killswitch Engage opening act. It was amazing. You're lucky! <laughs> yes, it was uh, a couple of years ago. I guess so memories are still there and uh, still I, I really want to 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 go back to go back to to there yeah honestly like i get that like the music life is just so much fun it really helps people with their mental shit music uh, is is for like metal music is for live shows uh, you, really? you can't uh, you you can't separate uh metal music from live shows. Uh, you, you can still um, survive uh, making new stuff, but uh, uh, sooner or later you have to, to show the, the, this new stuff to, to audience, yeah. to the right audience. Exactly. What is the music making process for you guys? The music making process? Uh, yes, we have um, now uh, we have uh, found uh, a good way to, to work after some years. Uh, <laughs> we are uh, we are experiencing different uh, different kind of, uh, of, of, um, of music making process. And uh, at the moment, uh, um, uh, we have we have we have a, a good collaboration with the guitarist between me, the singer, and the guitarist. Uh, usually we work uh, starting from a, a guitar riff or maybe a, a good vocal line and then we try to, to, to make something like a first attempt structure of the song using, using uh, for example uh, 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 electronic drums to just to, to, to choose the right tempo for the song and, and to uh, uh, um, create something uh, we can show to other members uh, and, and work uh, and work all together. So we start from a, from an idea uh, can be a, a, a guitar riff or a, a, a melody, and then we try to uh, to create a first structure of the song. Then we share with other members. Uh, and after some brainstorming, <laughs> and, uh, uh, everyone start to uh, uh, to work with with uh, to give his um, uh, his opinion, and um, and then we 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 try to uh, use. Uh, 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 the, the contribution of everyone to create uh, something similar to a song. Uh, then we have to wait 
our drummer that uh, is living uh, was living uh, so far because uh, we, we all are from Rome, Italy. Uh, our drummer, our drummer is from Prague, right? Czech Republic. So uh, we need to uh, wait uh, him uh, to be to join us to work in a rehearsal rehearsing studio. Uh, so we can uh, fix uh, the 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 structure of the song, and then we 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 have something we can work uh, um, uh, um, we can work on on details uh, of because um, when when the song is finished we just have to uh, define the arrangement. So uh, the the music process today is starts uh, from uh, um, team working, but uh, everyone stays home. So it's uh, good for a pandemic now. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of music, what is the meaning behind Deception Two? I fell in love with that track. Yeah. yeah this is. Um, Maybe our our most successful one uh, so far, and maybe because uh, we released it uh, in the right time. But uh, I guess uh, this 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 song has a very good melody. Um, is um, can can be stuck in in a, in a memory uh, after the first uh, first listen. Uh, this is uh, the, 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 the the power of this of the song. I, I always believe that um, uh, you can you can do good music, uh, but to uh, make a good song, to uh, if if you want a, a good song is uh, that one that uh, uh, people uh, uh, can uh, remember from the first attempt, sorry, from the first listen. Uh, Deception Shoe is um, is like that uh, as as uh, as a melody that uh, uh, suddenly uh, can be uh, remembered, and uh, maybe uh, the the other point is uh, that that song talks about uh, common feelings. People are uh, are usually find. Uh, people, people can find uh, uh, themselves in uh, in the history uh, of the video. So everyone has suffer, suffered for uh, uh, toxic relationships, uh, on uh, people um, or um, uh, let's say uh, this is kind of love uh, and hate uh, in an alter alter. Love uh, and late uh, um, uh, at the same time. Uh, the concept of, about deception too is uh, so, uh, um, that uh, love can uh, can 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 uh, hide something uh, something uh, different. You can uh, think uh, that you have found love, but uh, you have found something that uh, uh, love. Uh, Herself or himself, uh, and, on, and and not a, not a, not, not a anyone else. Uh, I guess this is uh, something something people can uh, relate uh, uh, themselves to. Yeah, this I've... is uh, this, the, the 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 power of the of this song. I I think uh, it's uh, this this is uh, this is um, the 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 strong point. I can totally see that because recently I was actually in a very toxic relationship I just dug myself out of. And <laughs> when I first heard this, I just immediately related to it. Yeah. Because, like, I just had, I just finished it's climbing good. myself out of hell. And metal was a big reason for that. So, some people told me uh, after hearing uh, the song for the first time, uh, <laughs> I, I've listened for, for, for one, once. And uh, then I see I I, I, I was singing uh, the song for five hours. <laughs> this was good. I, I 
I answer okay. So, I, I, so we have we have win this time. We have won. Definitely. Yeah, so we we have maybe found uh, the, the right uh, the right uh, uh, combination of melody, strongness, heaviness, and uh, and uh, and melody. That's why I love metal. It's like I said, it's mostly just pure emotion going into the music, and it makes it very relatable to the listener. That's a big reason why that like the metal genre is my personal favorite. It's because everything you listen to, for the most part, you can relate to, and it helps you through like whatever you're dealing with. Hey, um, then, um, uh, sorry, I I can't hear you so oh. clearly. So I I, I have some some uh, some difficult to 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 hear every single word. Sorry about that. Let's see here. Maybe I have to, to use uh, head headphones, but I have not. Uh, Don't worry about it. I, my 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 computer is not that good. Ah, I got you. <laughs> I just upgraded mine just for this, so I, okay. I definitely get it. <laughs> Honestly, I have no speakers. That's one. Yeah, that would that would do it. <laughs> Uh, well, I was going to ask one question, but you already answered it earlier, but I'll just ask it again anyway. If you could ever play with any artists, who would it be? Sorry. I, I, If you could perform with any band, who would you Okay, with? before any band. Okay, I, I have a personal answer because... Um, uh, My dream is to play before In Flames. That's a great choice. It, it's my favorite band, my my all time favorite band, and um, I know other other band members uh, are not the same. Uh, I'm not the same uh, the same favorites. Uh, for example, our bass player Ivano is a big fan of Fate No More. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I know he would, would love to play before them. Uh, our drummer uh, is a big fan of uh, uh, Haken or Tool. He's, a, he's more into prog, prog music. And our guitarist uh, love Disturbed, so he, he, he's the, the one that already realized the, his dream. That's great. I love that. I wish I went. I wish I went to that show. I would have loved to have seen you guys play with them. That would have been amazing. I wish I could have made it. Did you did Did you watch the the full video of our show in Kiev uh, before the start? I don't Because think I, I, we have released a a, a full uh, full show video. I'll definitely take a look at that later today. I can't wait to see that. <laughs> yes, because. Um, Of course, the, the, the what was a, a great opportunity for us, the, the best opportunity ever. So we decided to realize a, um, a multicam video of that show because uh, it was good to remember. Every time uh, we are sad, in, for example, in this, in, this, in this period, in this time, uh, we can... Uh, Have a look at what have we done in uh, in 2019 when we played with before this started was uh, something incredible. Yeah, I I get that entirely. Like I wish I could have seen that. That would have been that would have been amazing. <laughs> stuff like that is just when it happens, you just don't want to forget it, and that's why people mostly record that stuff. It's like you want to always have that remembered and always hold on to it. Which I can, which I can totally get behind. I'm the same way. Whenever I went, to, whenever I went to Warp Tour, I always recorded. I got my little phone, just recorded everything. Uh, those are the days. But yeah, right. my next question would be: What is the best piece of advice you were ever given when you entered music? The best reason uh, that that. Um... The the the, um, the reason that gets uh, me into music. Hmm? Uh, 
the, the reason that gets me into, into music make, uh, makes me uh, well uh, I have to, to say that uh, um, I'm not from a family of musicians uh, but uh, I started singing uh, when I was 14 um, I started my own my first band in uh, when I was uh, and, uh, at, at, at college uh, with uh, some some classmates and uh, I started to to sing when um, what my, my 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 favorite bands uh, were Queen, Guns N' Roses, stuff like that, because I, I'm, uh, I'm quite old. <laughs> um, I listen to all of that, I told totally Then, agree. then I, I started, I started to, to, to write my own songs. And so my, my band was kind of a, a cover band mixed with a, a original uh, song. Uh, and we started to, to perform. Uh, our first concert was uh, at the, uh, the theater of the school. Then we started to play in uh, some pub, uh, pubs, uh, club uh, um, in, our, in our city. Uh, and I realized that uh, uh, I, I was happy and I was happy only when I was uh, I was uh, with my band and I was singing. Uh, it was something that make always always uh, made me happy, uh, and something that uh, I, I could not. Uh, I, uh, I I I had to. I I I really realized that uh, I had to. Uh, uh, keep making music uh, to to be happy in my life. So I never stopped. Never. Uh, when I I don't make my own music, uh, I listen to music. So music is uh, always uh, in my in my in my life. Uh, cover all uh, all my life. And uh, maybe I I'm I'm really not uh, not. Uh, not sensitive to other forms of arts, but uh, music always uh, can uh, uh, go uh, straight to my heart, always. So uh, something like air, like uh, like uh, uh, eating, like uh, drink, something that uh, uh, is a uh, is a uh, life for me. That, that's how I am too. Like, I, I cannot. I cannot even imagine my my life without music. I'm the same way. Like music is plays a big part of my everyday life. Like I listen to it when I get up in the morning, to when I go to bed at night. And music has also helped me out of a lot of personal hells. Music's yeah. like, music's that one friend who like never gives up on you, no matter how bad of a place you're in. Like when I first got into metal, I was young, but. And I found out about the music festival, so I go into those. But metal really played a big part in my life when I was very suicidal. And one night I almost ended it. And then a song on my phone started playing and it helped me think clearly again. And now I do this. That song was Shattered by Currents, one of my favorite metal bands. And after the music got me to get back up and fix myself, I started doing this to give back. Because honestly, music saved my life and I want to help spread it. Yeah. Um, for example, I, I started to listen to metal um, uh, when I was very young, but then I, I stopped for other kind of music. But uh, as I already <laughs> told you, I, I'm, I'm kind of old, so I, I had the, the chance to live uh, in real time all um, the ch changes uh, in a, in. A, in music, music uh, taste and uh, and fashion. Let's see. Let, let's say something like that. Uh, I I lived the 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 born of grunge music in nineties. Uh, then uh, new metal and metalcore. First uh, first uh, wave of metalcore. 
uh, uh, even uh, emo music. <laughs> so I, I, I had the chance to uh, listen uh, all kinds of music in the time when uh, when uh, that was the main music uh, available. Yeah. So I I I, I could really uh, create my own music tastes. Uh, today I I I think I have something. Uh, uh, all all my all my influence uh, all all the influences I I I got from this uh, experience uh, of a lifetime experience. Uh, I try to, to to put them in into my music. So uh, new disorder. Uh, I speak for myself, but uh, I guess uh, other band members are the same. Uh, trying to make the music we would like to listen to. This is uh, the, uh, yeah the, the main uh, task we have. Nice, I, I love that. My last question for today is: What is next for New Disorder? Okay, hey, <laughs> who knows? <laughs> we really want to to create new stuff, uh, something new, because we would like to to release a new single, for example, in uh, before this before this summer. And of course, uh, we are focusing ourselves in a live activity as soon as uh, it would be possible. We have already uh, uh, twenty shows. Tour uh, scheduled for uh, for September. It was uh, a recover of um, a tour that we we should have, uh, have been in uh, in 2020, but uh, of course uh, delayed because of the pandemic. So uh, we are just uh, focused on um, be ready for uh, everything because we today we don't know. Uh, when the situation will uh, will uh, come back to normality, to no to to normal. So now we are just uh, trying to um, uh, don't lose don't lose our our uh, live attitude uh, and uh, and making something new to bring on stage as soon as it will be possible. This is our our. Uh, uh, short time uh, uh, task. Yeah. In the in the long time, we, we really can can say anything because uh, we have not uh, uh, no 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 plan to to release a new album for now. But for sure, we we will uh, release some new songs as a single. Nice. But at, at the moment, uh, we, 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 we are uh, focused on one song that we will release uh, before summer. Can't wait to hear it. I'm really excited now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This was, this was awesome. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Uh, it was a great pleasure. And uh, sorry for uh, the technical inconvenience. <laughs> oh, don't worry about it. You'd be surprised how much that actually happens. <laughs> You'd be surprised. A lot. This has been another Nerds Order interview. Today we were talking with New Disorder. I hope you all have a wonderful day and take care. No matter